Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to do an update on the Chia farming. So about three weeks ago I started with a Chia mining rig and today we're going to take a look at what the results are and what you can expect of Chia mining. If you like the sound of that be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. Let's start by taking a look at the investment that I made. So I'm using an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X with a matching X570 motherboard. I've got plenty of memory. Um, this is RGB memory. I had it still lying around, so of course the RGB doesn't add any value <laughs> and it makes it just a little bit more expensive. Um, I have a very simple SATA SSD to install the operating system. Then I had a Seagate Barracuda 4TB lying around, so I started plotting on this one while waiting for my order for these three Toshiba drives. They are 10TB each and then I bought two uh, crucial P5 2 terabyte solid state NVMe disks and I put these guys into a uh, RAID configuration. Before I had these I was plotting with a Firecuda 520 um, but it was very difficult to get a second one so I just bought two of these. These are a bit slower and their lifetime is also lower so if you can get those Firecudas from Seagate um, they are a little bit more expensive but I do think it's uh, worth the uh, additional investment. Then a little graphics card, and then there was a case that I still had lying around, so I just added this one to give you an idea of the price because it was a cheap case that I still had. Um, and then a 750 watt power supply, which is definitely plenty. So yes, you're looking at an investment of about $2,500 because you can um, save some money on the components that I use, you don't need RGB memory, you can use a cheaper motherboard and so forth. But I do think that you have to count on an investment of about $2,500, which is significant. Now I do want to note that even though this is definitely an investment, um, the power supply, you can still easily use it afterwards if you stop mining uh, the case of course as well. The SSDs you'll probably have to throw out. I think the hard drives you should be able to sell because they are not subjective to a lot of usage. It's uh, mainly the SSDs that are constantly being used and written on and the drives are just being filled once and then you basically leave them. You're not constantly writing on them. Um, then taking a look at the memory, of course, you can reuse it. The motherboard, you can reuse it and the processor, you can also reuse it. So even if I stop using this equipment, I can easily sell it as a gaming computer if I just add a decent graphics card to it. So yes, it is a big investment, but I do think there is still some resale value in this configuration, which is almost ready to use as a gaming rig anyway. Then let's take a look at where we started in the previous video. So when I started plotting for my first video, um, the total network space was 5 exabytes and my estimated time to win was about 7 years. So let's start with the bad news. The uh, network has grown from 5 exabytes almost to 20 exabytes in uh, less than a month, which is pretty insane if you ask me. Uh, the good news is that I was able to reduce my 7 years estimated time to win to 6 months, um, but that does mean that I already have 22 um, terabyte of my drives filled up. So I think I can uh, push it up to 300 terabytes, which will probably uh, give me a plot count of a little over uh, 300 plots. However, what you can see is that I am passing the uh, plot filter on a regular basis, as you can see here. Sadly, I just haven't been able to win any, uh, any blocks. And this is why my total Chia farmed is still zero, which is not that unexpected if the estimated time to win is six months. Of course, you can be very lucky and you can already win some Chia in the first month of farming. But again, this is very unlikely. So when it comes to plotting right now, I think I'm plotting about 16 plots a day. Uh, it's also important to know that I haven't been plotting constantly, especially in the beginning. It was a little bit of trial and error getting all the settings right. If you uh, create a bottleneck, of course, then the whole thing gets stuck and you, use, uh, and you lose a whole day. So right now, I plot in batches of 20. I use a delay of 80 minutes. Next, I set memory usage to 4000 megabyte and the number of threads is now set to six, which hasn't been an issue yet. So I'm, I'm sure if you uh, take the time to optimize the settings a bit more, that you can uh, easily get 20 plots a day in uh, 24 hours with this setup. And especially if you use those uh, fire kudas rather than the uh, crucials, then I think this shouldn't be any issue at all. 
This of course brings us to the question, is it worth mining Chia, yes or no? So right now the price is at $660. Um, this is coming down from a price of over $1,500. Of course the entire market has crashed, so there's nothing uh, unique going on here. Now I do have to mention that if you win a block reward that you will receive two Chia minus some uh, some costs. So let's just say roughly right now if you would win a block reward you get about thousand dollars. So if you are able to get your rewards in the first two months and then you would sell all your equipment I do think you would at least uh, have a break even or maybe a little bit of profit. Of course most of you don't want to start mining to have a chance at getting break even. So at this point, it's not looking that great. And uh, especially for me right now, I have to make a decision. Do I want to continue plotting? Yes or no? Will I keep my current plots and just um, stop plotting new ones and then farm the ones that I have? Of course, this will decrease the chance of winning because the network continues to grow. So if you're still planning to get started right now, go to chiacalculator.com. Then I propose that you click on advanced, don't use simplified. So in my case, we have, let's just put it on tips, put this one on tips as well. Um, so if we plot all our drives, we have about 34 terabyte. Our plotting speed, well, if you're able to plot 20 plots a day and one plot is 100 gigabytes, then we are plotting two terabytes a day. And then let's just assume that we are willing to buy up to 100 terabytes in the hard drives, which is definitely a significant investment. Then after six months, we would be making, if we're lucky, $800. If you're unlucky, you won't have any block rewards in the first six months. If you're very lucky, you will have it in the first month. But of course, that is something you can't take into account. So right now, the Chia price is 661 our investment, this looks pretty accurate, especially if we have to buy a bunch of new drives, then we would end up at $4,000 and we would get $800 in return after six months. Let's just say we are doing this for one year. Then we have 1.5K, still not long enough. Let's do it for three years. Then we have 4K, still not enough. Of course, we are in a dip right now. So let's just assume that the Chia coin is going back to all time high. Let's say 1500. Then it's looking pretty good after three years. Let's see after one year. Then we are, no. So after one year, we're still not break even. So yeah, it's definitely a risk investing in so, so much hardware. We also have to keep in mind, we are assuming that the high growth rate that we've seen so far is going to stop in 14 days. Um, I think 14 days is pretty quick. So let's just put it on 30 days. So then the uh, return on investment will take even longer. Also keep in mind after one year the hardware will be worth less and you'll have to replace the uh, SSDs as well. So I do think the cost is going up even more. So yeah, it's it's pretty uh, pretty risky. But if you're a big Chia fan, you might assume that Chia is going up to 3k. And then yeah, they will maybe break even after one year. So this of course is a very important factor. How fast will the network keep growing? Of course, there's a limit. So if we would keep growing for 30 days exponentially, then the network space will be almost 100 exabytes. And after one year, we are looking at almost, okay, very roughly, maybe half a uh, zettabyte. Just to give you an idea, the global data center storage capacity worldwide is estimated in 2021 to be two zettabytes. So if we would end up with 0.3 zettabytes, that would mean 15% of all the storage available in the world is plotting Chia. So that is unlikely. So I do think that 30 days is a pretty safe estimate for exponential growth. So the big question is, of course, will I buy a new hard drive because this one will be filled up pretty quickly and then I'll have to buy new ones or I have to decide to keep all the farmland that I have right now and keep farming them without plotting any new ones. One thing that I will continue waiting for is the Chia farming pools. They did promise to come out with them, I think, last month. So it has been moved to this month. And this is something I'm definitely going to wait for because this is the only way to farm chia in a way that makes sense for a normal consumer because right now as you've seen even with my 
3k setup there is a small chance that i will have a block reward in six months and this six months if i stop plotting new plots will just become longer and longer and longer and this is of course a very big risk it's very possible that i won't get any rewards in the first year so chia farming pools is a solution for this you will continuously on a daily basis be getting rewards of course these are small rewards but at least you have a steady income and you don't have the risk of being very unlucky and not getting any rewards in the first year so yes this is definitely something i'm looking forward to sadly they are not out yet now, if you really don't want to wait for the official pools, then you can take a look at some of the community initiatives like HPool. Of course, there are some limitations and some drawbacks of these systems. You have to share some sensitive data if you want to join these pools. So please do take a look at all the details before you jump in. Then today I was looking at a video of Son of a Tech. You can find the link in the description of this video or a link will pop up in the top right corner right now. He took a look at the core pool. So this is system is a little bit different. Um, you just install their software. And I think if I understand correctly, you're able to use the plots that you already have and start adding them to the uh, core pool. Again, I'll put a link in the description of this video. I haven't tried this out yet. Uh, I personally want to wait for the official pools. I'm not that comfortable with installing these uh, unverified pieces of software. Of course, if you're using a clean system, the risk is very limited. But uh, please do some research before jumping into this uh, type of software. And again, keep in mind, official pools are coming this month. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also post a comment, especially if you want to see the follow-up video. So I'll be definitely making at least one more video on Chia, which will be on the... Uh, chia pools and then i guess we'll just have to see if it's profitable yes or no and if you guys want to see more videos like this thanks again for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye